Hey, how's it going guys? As some of you may know, there's a zombie apocalypse upon us and it's also a scientifically well-known fact that zombies like to go after power plants. And since that's exactly when your cell phone likes to die, I'm going to show you how you can use a regular 9 volt battery with your car charger to recharge your cell phone. Alright, first things first, you want to connect the cable from your charger to your cell phone. Next you grab your battery, this is going to be your positive side right here, this is going to be the negative or the ground side on this side, and on your charger this is going to be the positive side and neither of these sides are going to be your negative or ground side. Now what you can do in case of an emergency is to simply put the positive side of the battery on the positive point on the charger and then simply use your key to jump the connection on the negative side between the two and there you have it, as you can see we're now charging our cell phone. And obviously if you have access to some wires then your life is going to be a lot easier because you can just leave it there and it will charge your cell phone. Now if you're wondering how long this is going to last, this should last a good 20 to 30 minutes uh, for most cell phones and that should give you plenty of charge to make that emergency phone call. See the way this works is that cigarette lighter chargers are designed to have an output of 12 volts or in this case 24 volts DC and turn that into an output of 5 volts at 1 amp. And that works the same for your wall chargers, see? You got an input of 100 to 240 volts. Uh, this is, I guess, in case you take it to Europe. And an output of 5 volts DC at 1200 milliamps, or in other words, 1.2 amps. Now this obviously is not 12 volts, but this will still work because it's a higher voltage than 5 volts, and this charger in general is supposed to regulate higher voltages down to 5 volts in order to, for your cell phone to be able to recharge. Now if you don't have a 9 volt battery, you can actually use AA batteries. You just get 6 of them, put them in series, which, which gives you 9 volts, and then attach them to your charger. This will actually last a lot longer than your 9 volt battery anyway. 6 of these, I'm guessing, should charge up your uh, cell phone battery to about 100%. Or better than AA batteries, you can always use C batteries, which last even longer. Or if you want, you can use D batteries, which should charge your cell phone a couple times over. Now, if you got time to prepare for a zombie apocalypse, you can just uh, buy a battery pack like this these days that come with a little USB on the side that you can simply use to recharge your cell phone to as well. And if you're curious to see how much amp the cell phone is drawing while it's charging, you can do it with your uh, multimeter. You get your multimeter, put it on the amp setting, DC voltage, or the DC amp setting. We're going to put it on 20, then we grab our test lead, put it in the 20 amp max location as well. Alright, next all we have to do is to insert our test leads from our multimeter to the power side of our circuit. And there you have it, we got 0.47 amps, which is about 460 milliamps. Which was lower than expected, I expected it to be closer to 1 amp, but it is about half of that. But again, this rating here is the maximum amount of amps you can pull out of these. The maximum amount of amp you'll need actually depends on the device you're using. And that's all there is to it, hope you survive the zombie apocalypse. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more like it, and also check out my other videos, especially the one on how to use a basic multimeter. I'll uh, put a link to them on this side of the screen that you can click on. Alright, thanks for watching.